All right. Good evening, everyone, and well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, this is my tutorial for performing repaints um, for Microsoft Flight Simulators FS9, FSX prepared, um, and I guess I'm FSS now too as well for um, primarily business trip purposes. So. Um, we we'll talk about in this video. We'll talk about basically a little bit of the setup I'm gonna do, how I usually have my setup set up when I'm painting, and that sort of thing. Um, before we actually dive into the real painting stuff, um, in the next video. So, first and foremost, um, on an internet browser, doesn't matter really which one. I usually have pictures of what I'm painting pulled up. Um, so you can see here I have a picture pulled up of Cerner's Hawker 900 XP. November 979 or Charlie Foxtrot, um, which is what I'm going to be using to paint for this tutorial today. Um, normally I have a left and a right side, if at all possible. Um, however, um, this aircraft was painted, repainted a couple of years ago, and just because business jets aren't photographed as much, um, there isn't a good shot of the left side of it in this current scheme. So, um, unfortunately, we're just going to work off of this one shot for this, which I mean, um, when it dives down to things, I know a lot of people are really um, strict and they really try to do the best as possibly can to replicate a um, repaint. For me, at least, um, it's more about just getting something really representative as close as I can in this M. So, um, one side will work just fine for what um, I do for my repaints, um, especially since there's so much in GA and it's changing so rapidly. I'm not the kind of person to be wanting the paint to be 100% uh, correct from the start. Um, whereas in airliners, things don't change as often. Um, and you see a lot of the guys trying to be really, really um, detailed and as close as perfect as they can with their repaints. So anyway, so that's um, what I have on my browser. Um, in terms of what I usually have open otherwise, um, I use GIMP, so I have the Hawker 800 XP paint kit that's been enhanced, as you can see by Marco, pulled up. Um, since the nine, Hawker 900 there isn't technically a model for it, in fact, our prepared conversion team technically redid um, the paint kit. Um, or not the paint kit, the model, and they added winglets to it. Um, this is the model we'd use for the Hawker 900 XP. Um, that's what I have pulled up in GIMP, and I'm also gonna open in my downloads. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's the wrong picture. Yep, yeah, that's a, another one I'm planning on doing later. Um, so we'll try this again. Uh, it's that one. So I've got a picture of the Hawker that we're painting a different one, um, but this is going to be used for color pick, uh, picking the colors. So I'll zoom in here, I'll end up using this later on um, once we get to the second video. Um, I'll take a second here to talk about the layers and everything we have over here. So in GIMP, this is where you see your layers. These are everything that we're primarily working with. Um, so the reg marks layer, um, as you can see, these little marks usually help with alignment on different sides. That just turns them on and off. Um, this layer, that's all the labels for what everything is. Um, some paint kits, those labels are on top of the paint area, so you want to have those off. On this paint kit, they're on areas that aren't mapped to the model, so they're fine to leave on. We have the wireframe, um, which is a very, very helpful um, piece of detail it shows the actual wireframe of the model we'd be using um, so we have to turn off the white if we want to look at that but actually that actually shows what would show up on what part of the model because sometimes the white background is a little bit extended so it's not exactly correct that's the wireframe shadows layer provides the shadows um, that you can turn it off you can see some of the shadows disappear like that the winglet selector layer this one's unique to the hawker um, so when the conversion team upgraded the model to include winglets, they also upgraded it to in, uh, include, basically make the winglets paintable. Originally when they first added the winglets, they weren't paintable, now they are. So we have this winglet selector, and we have three different types, the standard, 
scimitar and the Hawker 850 900 XP wing once. It's worth paying the 900 XP. That's what we're going to use. Details is just um, basically where, where Marco's done his magic. Um, he's added a lot of details to this paint kit and enhanced it to a 4096 by 4096 instead of its uh, standard 1024 by 1024. Um, more than likely, if you're watching this video as a starter, you're probably using the 1024 by 1024 paint kit. Um, eventually, if you work um, and prove yourself well enough of your um, previews, you might find yourself being able to use the HD paint kits someday. Um, so there's going to be some things that are different between your paint kit that you may be using and the one I'm using. Um, but at the end of the day, you might have a possibility of being able to use these paint kits, which is really nice. Um, the paint layer here, this is where I do all my paints at. Um, so this isn't actually a layer, it's more of a folder of layers. Um, so I'll add, um, for example, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer called right, and this is where a layer group called right, and I'm basically going to use all my paints, uh, all my painting for the right side of this aircraft, which you see here. It's all going to go, everything that would go on this area of the um, model is going to be contained within that layer group. So we'll use that later on. The white layer down here, that's all the white on the um, pink it there, and then of course the background. So most of these you won't really use, um, but basically um, if you're using a paint kit that does not have a layer group called paint in it or paint here or something like that, you're going to want to insert it probably right above uh, where it has the white background layer right here. Um, since you want to be painting over the white, but you want to be painting below the details more than likely. Um, you don't want to be over painting like the windows or something like that because the paint would typically stop at the windows. So that's how GIMP's basically set up um, for me when I'm using it. And lastly, I usually have one more app open, which is um, either Model Converter X, uh, which is what I primarily use, or AI Aircraft Editor, which is my secondary sort of app that I use. Um, the reason why I have AI Aircraft Editor open tonight, um, <clears throat> basically the version of Model Converter X that my computer runs, um, does not allow me to open the prepared version 4 converted models, which are the models that have the mapped wing widths that we need to use. Um, so I need to use your AI Aircraft Editor because that one can open those um, maps. So if you see like the King Air 350s I've recently painted or something like that that have the gray backgrounds, those are the ones I preview in AI Aircraft Editor. So um, if we go, I'm going to have to move this back over so I can select here. If we go up to... AI British Aerospace HS125-800 um, and go to Model Viewer, I believe, yes. We're going to have um, a side on shot of our model. Um, and we have to select the 8X, 850XP because that's the model we want. I believe, come on. Oh well, it's not going to work. That's right, because we have to choose the individual exact model. There we go. So that's genuine parts Hawker 900 that I've done in the past. Um, once I actually have an export for 979 Charlie Foxtrot, that will show up um, in there. Because right now it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be that, because I haven't exported anything into the sim yet. So that's how I usually have my setup, everything set up. Um, I highly recommend a setup very similar to this. Um, for when you actually work on doing your repaints. Um, but um, go ahead and end this video now. And the next video, we'll go ahead and we'll start working on painting on the model.